How easy is it to upgrade your laptop? Let's get started. First step, a pin through this hole to cut off the battery supply to the motherboard. Then you have to follow this sequence to remove the fixings from the lower cover. Shout out to MF Lab for sharing this information. You can find many similar guides scattered across the internet with most being legit and not just on the verge. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm a dad and here I go again. Stop it. Get some help. Once you remove all the fixings and come to the realization there's no turning back, use a prying tool, try and disengage the clips. Be patient and don't be a fool. This is what happens to fools. Nevertheless, wipe that tear away from your eye and carry on. This is the most fiddly part of the whole process, but just be patient and you'll get through it fine. Once you manage to remove the bottom cover, inspect it to see if everything looks okay. I couldn't really tell you what to do if it didn't, but just make sure everything's fine. Now you don't have to disconnect the battery as you have isolated it through the pin in the start, but I'm just being extra careful so I'll, I'll just disconnect it because I can. You can now access the two SSD slots and the two RAM slots depending on what you want to upgrade. You can upgrade both at the same time if you wanted to. Make sure you buy the right components, this is critical. They need to be compatible with your laptop. Remove the single fixing which will later help hold the SSD in place. I have opted for a 1TB blue M.2 NVMe SSD, should be plenty for me. The SSD would also require a thermal pad on the side facing the motherboard just to ensure it disperses the heat well. For this setup you need around a 3mm thick pad and these things are just so worth getting right and it's worth spending the extra pennies. I bought the 1mm one, I'm too ashamed to share how it turned out, so moving on. Place the SSD in the slot, listen out for that beautiful sound. Screw back in the fixing that was there on the motherboard. Reassemble the bottom cover. Again, be extra careful and gentle with this. It is really satisfying when the clips clip. Now on to the second bit. When you boot your PC, you won't see the SSD straight away you have to assign it to a drive in the disk management tool to start using it. You can use the search tool to find disk management and the tool should show up. Right click, new simple volume and follow the simple steps. I normally split the hard drive into usable smaller portions as this allows you to format one partition if it goes up corrupt and saves the rest. Make sure there's plenty of space there if you're gonna install something like Call of Duty Warzone which um, if you install the Black Ops and the Modern Warfare and the Warzone can take, I don't know, 250 GB. So make sure you leave plenty of space there for that. Once all partitioned, you are good to start filling the drives up with useless files that you would never open for the rest of your laptop life. And because you've made it this far, here's something satisfying. 